I get asked a lot about the PCI slots and what they are used for, particularly the X4 slot. This slot on this motherboard is the X4 slot, but how do you identify it and what is it used for? So the X4 slot is a medium bandwidth PCI slot on a motherboard. It is intended for installing many devices ranging from NVMe expansion cards to 4K capture card to even smaller NVIDIA graphics cards. Let me get into the details. A PCI slot is one of the ways through which you add functionality to your PC by adding expansion cards such as a Wi-Fi card, Ethernet card or even a graphics card. The X4 slot is one of four main types of PCI slots that you can find on a motherboard. The other ones being the X1 slot, X8 slot and the X16 slot. The number 4 after the X basically denotes the number of PCI lanes the slot has. Think of PCI lanes as information highways that carry data from the connected components such as a video capture card, a graphics card, an Ethernet card to the CPU for data processing. The higher the number of PCI lanes the slot offers, the higher is its throughput rate or the bandwidth. In layman terms, the higher the number of PCI lanes the slot has, the higher is its speed and the more suitable it is for more powerful devices. I should also mention here that the version of the PCI interface matters a lot. Basically, a single PCI lane doubles its transfer speed with each newer version. Have a look at this table. You can see here that the X4 slot conforming to version 3.0 has a bandwidth of about 4GB per second. The same slot if conforming to version 4.0 would have a bandwidth of double the amount or 8GB per second. So how do you identify the PCI X4 slot? Here you can see the array of PCI slots of this motherboard. You can see that this motherboard has 5 PCI slots. 3 X1 slots, 1 X16 slot and 1 X16 slot working in X4 mode. Therefore, this here is essentially the X4 slot of this motherboard despite having the full X16 physical size. Let me explain why. So there are basically 4 types of PCI slots differentiated by the lane count. The X1 slots are the smallest and they only offer a single lane and hence they are used by components that generate very low amounts of data such as a Wi-Fi card, sound card, 1G Ethernet card, etc. The X8 slots are rare and they are often found on motherboards intended for multi-GPU setups such as an SLI or Crossfire setup. This particular motherboard has no X8 slots. The largest and the most powerful are the true X16 slots. These offer 16 lanes and they are often intended to be used by the most powerful expansion cards like a graphics card. The first X16 slot here is the true X16 slot on this motherboard. The X4 slots are the middle ground in terms of bandwidth. Physically, they look similar to an X16 slot. On this motherboard, the second X16 slot is actually an X4 slot despite having the full physical dimension of an X16 slot. This is a very important point to note. Many newbie PC builders confuse an X16 X4 slot to a true X16 slot. Basically, you would not want to use this slot for the GPU. For a GPU, you would want to use the first X16 slot. You can tell the number of PCI lanes of an X16 slot by reading the motherboard spec sheet but as a rule of thumb, the first X16 slot or the one closest to the CPU offers full 16 lanes whereas the rest may offer 16, 8 or 4 lanes on a typical commercial motherboard. Long story short, this here is the X4 slot on this motherboard. Now let me talk about the uses of an X4 slot. An X4 slot is used by a wide variety of devices. The first are the M.2 NVMe expansion cards. A typical NVMe SSD requires 4 PCI lanes in order to use to its maximum speed. Hence, an NVMe expansion card goes into an X4 slot. Next, we have 4K video capture cards. While the full HD capture cards go into the X1 slots, the 4K capture cards, due to their higher data rate, go into the X4 slots. You can tell this by their connector size. Full HD capture cards have an X1 connector whereas the 4K capture cards have an X4 connector. Next we have 10G Ethernet cards. These are network cards with a high bandwidth and are a step up from your typical 1G Ethernet cards that go into the X1 slots. In addition to that, X4 slots are used by an array of port expansion cards such as for adding Thunderbolt connectivity, more SATA ports, USB ports or more M.2 slots to your PC. And finally, let me talk about why the version of PCI interface matters. I talked about the different versions of the PCI interface and the speed earlier. But basically, the newer the version of the PCI slots, the more powerful devices you can plug into your PC. Take the example of an NVMe M.2 expansion card. I mentioned earlier that an NVMe SSD requires 4 PCI lanes. Now, if you were to plug a Gen 4 NVMe SSD in a PCI 3.0 slot, it will only work at half its speed. So, you will have basically wasted half its potential. A Gen 4 SSD requires a PCI 4.0 expansion card plugged into a PCI 4.0 slot. So that is the basics of the X4 slot. If you have any more questions or concerns, please ask away in the comment section below. If you learned something of value from this video, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe.